Thanks. Um, hi. Raise your hand if we have never met before. Yeah. <laughs> two, literally two people, so thank you. <laughs> Three people, excellent, excellent. Um, I'm not showing you my slideshow. Cool. Do you enjoy the um, New Mexico desert? Thank you. Um, so in person. <laughs> So I am between you and dinner and happy hour, and so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, it's not. Maybe just drag it across. This should be duplicated. Holler. It is. Now I can't see my notes. Ugh. I have no idea what I'm talking about if I don't have notes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, I guess we can get started now. I am Lauren Marble. Um, pay no attention to the actual title of this talk because it's only semi-related to this. Uh, <laughs> Because things change, right? And that's what we do. Um, I am a senior uh, solutions architect with AWS Spatial Computing. Um, literally everybody I work with is right here. And one straggler right there in the middle. Say hi, Jeremiah. Oh, and Eric. I see Eric. Um, uh, and I've been here for about two and a half years. So for those of you, um, I'm just going to talk to y'all because <laughs> y'all are the only ones that don't know me. Um, I've you know, been in industry for almost 20 years now, um, maybe a little bit over 20 years. Um, the last 10 years have been in and out of um, emerging technology for industry, um, missile systems, defense stuff. Um, and then I came to AWS. And so now I do all of the spatial computing type stuff. I don't get to focus on what I think is the coolest part, but that's what we get to do now. So despite what the title says, um, not so much about managing your spatial data, your spatial computing data. We talked about that a lot. Um, you hear about it a lot. Um, but I'm going to talk to you about how to um, help scale up your business, in particular if you are a startup, and the different um, ways that we do that. I am kind of responsible for the onboarding of our spatial computing partners. And at a conference like this, I thought it'd be really helpful um, to let y'all know what resources are out there um, and how um, you can use them. And this is, so this is for y'all. Uh, here's the stuff we're going to talk about. I'm going to talk about it, so feel free to read that real quick if you want to. Um, spatial computing growth potential is, is big, but how big? Very big. And if I have to explain that to anybody in this room, you're probably at the wrong conference. Um, we'll start with the basics of why you should build your solution on AWS. Um, there's a number of different ways we're going to talk about um, some of these, and then there'll be a lot of QR codes for you to scan while I'm talking. So get your phones ready, get very excited to go to some websites and look up some information. Um, but first and foremost, security and compliance is always our number one priority here at AWS, and we're very good at it. We have lots of um, very dedicated teams that can help you um, make sure that your solutions are um, secure. Um, we have all of the compute power, so much of it. Um, if you're not familiar with what AWS does in the cloud, um, we compute in the cloud, right? So you don't have to do it on-prem. You don't have to do it from, um, you know, a, you don't need to these big computers all over the place. Um, you just log in and, and get, up, you know, get you some compute. Um, services, many, many services that help you compute and store your data and build your um, solutions out. Um, and there's a number of different, there's, so we're specialist solutions architects because there are so many services that 
you need to be a specialist in all of the different things. We're specialists in spatial computing. Um, so we're not really great at all the specific services, but we do have tons and tons of other solutions architects called generalist solutions architects that can help you pick out the right services. I think we're going on over 400 services, maybe 360, something like that. It's a lot of services. It's a lot of um, windy road to traverse. Um, AWS infrastructure is everywhere almost. Um, uh, try not to be hyperbolic, you know, it can't possibly be everywhere. Um, but we're, we're where most of your, your clients or customers will be, and um, plenty of information about that. Um, marketplace offerings, um, this is a place where you can put your solution and you can um, have your customers actually deploy it into their account. And the cool thing about that is then it just gets billed straight to them. So there's a number of different ways to set up that billing, um, but it's just one of the, the really cool um, things that you can do on AWS. The uh, very last one is key. It is very hard for us to partner with you if you are not built on AWS unless you're hardware, then it's a little bit easier. But it's really tricky for me to you know, go in front of someone and be like, hey, yeah, they're built on one of the others. Can't do that. Um, why become an actual partner with AWS? So um, there's levels to this. This is going to take you to our APN um, page. And it's a lot of information, which is why I thought it'd be helpful to put this presentation together. Um, but basically, you have, um, we put a lot of faith in our, in startups and in people who want to, people who have good ideas or big ideas and they just don't know how to get started and there's things that um, they want to build. Um, so there's tons of resources, especially credits and reduced cost benefits so that you can develop your POCs and you can develop your solutions without having to take on a whole, whole lot of risk um, that you might do something very dramatic or drastic. Um, when you get it to a certain level of partnerships, again, there's levels to this, um, there are co-selling opportunities. Um, who's our BD rep? I think it's just Jacqueline. Anybody else here? Um, Jacqueline will help you get started on your co-selling opportunities all by herself no. <laughs> and her um, bosses. But my responsibility is kind of to onboard spatial computing partners. So in addition to the normal stuff that you'll actually see on the APN website, um, you actually get to work directly with me, which is the most fun. Um, so we can get you onboarded because spatial needs a little bit extra love. Um, and like I mentioned, there's resources to integrate your, your um, new AWS services into your solution. So I'll be talking briefly about some of our amazing partners that we already work with um, and how they have used um, some of those services. One of the other things that um, we do for, um, for our partners is we have something called the Solutions Library. Hopefully this takes you there um, to the Solutions Library. And if we've done all of our SEO, um, our search engine optimization properly, when you Google AW, <laughs> I love how my team is now checking to see if, uh, if it does indeed take you to the Solutions Library. Um, uh, but uh, if we've done the SEO properly, then when somebody types in AWS spatial computing or augmented reality or virtual reality or something like that, it takes you to this page and that's where all of our partners are listed by use case um, and by some other buckets, but more or less um, your solution is listed there. So it's just an easy way for people to find you. Um, and we're very proud of this because the solutions library, we actually now have our own spatial computing tag under the technology. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, cool. We're like kind of a big deal now. We're official. Um, the first partner that I'm going to talk about real quick is Rapid Compact. This will take you to their website so you can learn a little bit more about them. Um, uh, again, all of the partners that I'm talking about today are partners because they're built on AWS and they have very compelling offerings. Um, uh, all of them will pretty much say that um, the ability to uh, um, use the compute power of AWS to be able to easily store um, to create their solutions in a reliable way has helped them scale up tremendously. Um, Rapid Compact, uh, what they do, how many of you are in the like actually building, do not raise your hands, <laughs> actually building out um, XR applications? Y'all don't follow instructions. <laughs> um, if you've done that, then you know that there's a really heavy lift around 3D um, conversion, optimization, size, um, things of that nature. And Rapid Compact has a really amazing um, offering that allows you to, from the command line, 
um, run a number of optimizations and conversions. And they're amazing to work with. Um, uh, we put them with some of our, you know, some of our best clients, um, some of our greatest customers. Um, our partners are also our customers, so that's another, um, sometimes it's easy to get lost in partner versus customer, but our partners use our services just like all of our other customers, so that's why um, we take that relationship so seriously and we have such um, a dedicated team to, to take care of them. Um, so anyways, Rapid Compact, um, they do these amazing um, conversions and optimizations and um, all the back end runs on AWS. We use them often, um, amazing to work with. If there's something that um, you know, our customer says, well, why can't we do X, Y, and Z? They usually fix it pretty quickly. Um, and so we make those, those kinds of transactions um, pretty straightforward. Preview 3D um, is another one of our partners. This will actually take you to a video called Howdy Partner. Howdy Partner is a 90-minute live Twitch stream that's available to all of our partners. And what it is is it's a, um, it's a stream that's dedicated to builders, right? So what you're going to be doing is um, the partner is like Jerry and I. Say hi, Jerry. Um, Jerry and I usually host um, the Twitch stream with one or two people from the partner. And you're able to show exactly how your solution works. So you're clicking buttons, you're bringing assets in, you're creating things um, in that 90 minutes, occasionally two hours. Sometimes we get a little chatty, um, as we often like to do. Um, but that's one of the benefits that's available to um, all of our partners. And I selfishly use it as collateral when I'm dealing, when I'm talking to customers. It's a really great way to show them exactly what it means to, um, to use that application or that solution. Um, the next partner that we work with, they are running around here somewhere today, Treatise, if you've not heard of Treatise. Um, they basically build um, these amazing AR experiences on top of scans of facilities. Um, it can take different types of scans. Um, but they make it in a very low code way. This will also take you to their Howdy Partner episode, um, which is um, the Howdy Partner episodes that I'm showing you today are, are gold standard. We love them. Um, they're actually, you can watch it at two times. I mean, it can, <laughs> you, know, you get the idea as you go. Um, and two hours is a long time to sit. But they're pretty compelling um, uh, demonstrations of our partner's capabilities. Um, so I totally lost my train of thought. Somebody was taking pictures, and it was like men in black camera. I have no memory now. Um, so anyways, so Treatise, they build on top of, um, they do waypoint finding inside. But one of the things is how to guide through like a mall or a large office building. Um, they can do step-by-step -step work instructions. Um, they work with a number of other partners to um, produce their solution, but they've, um, they've really grown out of the partner network. They started as a startup, like very small startup. They're still small but mighty, but they've been able to scale up with um, joining APN and utilizing some of the resources that we've um, made available to them through the partner network. They also, um, one of the things that, two of the things that they've done while they were, um, that has helped them scaled up was one, they have some marketplace offerings, um, which again, makes it easy um, for customers to, to find and use and integrate into their systems. Um, and the other thing was they've integrated themselves with TwinMaker. And so they got a lot of hands-on help um, in doing that from AWS. Um, and so it took a lot of the guesswork out, and they were actually able to do that pretty quickly. So um, their Howdy Partner episode um, was actually a lot of fun. So check it out. Sphere, have, have any of you heard of Sphere? <laughs> a few people have heard of Sphere. So Sphere basically has an amazing um, platform to allow you to create um, workflow instructions, augmented reality, um, remote collaboration, design reviews, things like that. Um, again, all built on AWS. All of these partners offer tremendously different things. Um, I believe Sphere is here. I don't know if they have a booth. Do they have a booth? No, they're just running around. Um, but they're device agnostic and they're able to um, continue to grow um, and offer more, um, 
more services and more functionality to their platform. And um, but they web-based, mobile-based, heads-up display-based, all of the all of the things. Um, so again, this is their link to the Howdy Partner episode. And I um, highly encourage you to check this out. We actually have a playlist. I think I actually. Here's the playlist for all of the Howdy Partner episodes that we've done um, that are specific to spatial computing. Um, Howdy Partner is not specific to spatial computing. It's for all of the partners. Um, but we've kind of staged a coup uh, a bit, <laughs> a bit of a takeover in the Howdy Partner space. And so I think we might have seven or eight in there right now. And I think probably another four or five um, between now and um, the end of the year. So um, subscribe to that channel, check it out, um, and you can see firsthand and hear firsthand um, how the partner network in particular um, and those resources have helped these, um, these companies that started off pretty small um, grow and scale and do some amazing things. Um, these are also some of our um, kind of premier partners. They've reached another level of, um, of partnership called ACE validation, which is just kind of like, okay, we've done a bunch of stuff on AWS. Now we can actually put the full weight of kind of our go-to-market behind, um, behind them. And so it's just another level of attention and resources um, and things like that so they can move forward. Here's a, here's a quote from um, Sphere. I won't um, read it to you because I trust that most of you can read, although I'll read it because there might be somebody who's, you know, um, can't read the screen. So AWS services are supercharging Sphere integrations with AWS services such as Lookout for Vision for ML-based anomaly detection or TwinMaker for immersive IoT and digital twin visualizations are leveling up Sphere beyond core spatial collaboration. So this integration with Lookout for Vision with TwinMaker um, with some of the other digital twin um, offerings, those are new. Those were not inherent. That wasn't part of, I don't mean new like as today, but it's not how it started out, right? It started out, um, it was all a dream. Um, but um, they were able to quickly integrate these different things at different levels, um, especially with customers. So when customers ask for it, um, then they usually um, integrate it a little bit quicker. Um, but some of these were done without customers. They were just like, hey, we need this thing. We see where this is going, and you can integrate it ahead of time. Thanks. This is a link to my LinkedIn page um, where you can holler at me if you have any questions about joining APN. Um, for spatial computing partners, it really and truly is um, me, Jerry, and Jacqueline to onboard um, the partners. So it's lots of one-on-one -on -one love and attention um, and dedication um, to get you where you need to go. And so yeah, so let me know. That's it. I got five minutes left. Any questions? Are you guys just blown away? I know. Thank you for that. How long did it take you to build the sphere? <laughs> Me, I did it in about a week. Yeah. yeah, real strong. Real strong. I got it. Who else? How, how many more partners would you like to see? A thousand. <laughs> Honestly, truly, um, the space is, it's a, it's a big space, right? No one partner can handle everything. And so, um, we welcome all different kinds of partners. Um, some might seem like they have a bit of an overlap, but usually they've already got kind of their target customers and audiences. There's no one size fits all. You can walk around the floor out there and see not one size fits all, because you'll see a lot of the same devices, a lot of the same solutions, but targeted very, very differently. Um, so I encourage everybody to apply for APN. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's a foundational technical review that you have to do in order to um, become a partner. Um, but Jerry is our um, FTR uh, expert, and so he can help um, get you through that. Now, if you're already built on AWS, you're probably 75% of the way there. Um, if you're not, that requires a different level of, of love and attention. Um, but we'd love to have you on this side, so come on down. The water's real nice. All right, 
Go eat, drink, and be merry.